Gazi, congratulations, you've opened the show here at the wonderful Winter Gardens. Decent performance, are you happy with it overall? Yeah, I mean, first game's always tough and I started off well, finished off well. My, my, my doublings out were, were pretty good and yeah, it's, um, a win's a win, you know, I want to get through the first round. Doesn't matter how I average or how well I play, just get through and I'm into the tournament, so I'm, I'm looking forward to Tuesday now. Do you feel you let him back into it in that, in that middle stage? Yeah, I think three legs I let him off, but he let me off one or two as well, so fair result and like I said, happy I got a win. Is it important to you to send out a statement opening the show so everyone else is worried about going price in this tournament? <laughs> I don't care what they think, uh, as long as I'm confident in myself, you know, and I turn up and believe in my own ability. I don't think anybody's worried about me, I'm not worried about anybody else. You know, we all turn up, try, try our best, and if, we, if we're good enough on the day, then we'll win. But, yeah, I don't think anybody's worried about me, like I'm not about them. Yeah, I just said just now, oh, there's four, probably four, three majors I haven't won, which is the UK Open, uh, the Players' Championship Finals, and this one. I've been in the final of, of all of them, so hopefully, you know, I can go one step further and, and win this one, uh, and win one of them. No further down the line, but yeah, just glad to get a first win down under my belt and look forward to Tuesday. I know there's been times you may not have enjoyed the dance quite so much, but did you enjoy that that time? Yeah, I mean, the crowd were brilliant. You know, I enjoyed it on stage. I don't, even though I play pretty well, sometimes I don't feel as comfortable as I want to, and I'm, I'm not scoring as well as I want to, but you know, like I said, that's probably just first match jitters, and you know, I've got through, so I'll be a lot better and a bit more comfortable hopefully on Tuesday. Well, I think the darts was the priority you know, over the last couple of years, but sometimes you need to put life as a priority and darts come second. And I've probably put darts too much in my life, and I need to like sort of concentrate on my life. Darts comes then after that, and you know I'm not, I'm not too I, I don't beat myself up too much now when I lose. Gary, in the opening round of this tournament, you've had a lot of scar tissue. Is that on your mind at all when you've entered the Winter Gardens? In now? this tournament? Yeah, in the match play. I didn't even know. <laughs> so no, I haven't even thought about that, but I thought I've done pretty well over the last couple of years in this oh, yeah, event. Oh yeah, just generally as a whole, in the first round, there's been a few is it? successful matches. I didn't even know. Is that a positive then, that if there is a bad experience, yeah, because I don't know. I, your I, mind? If, if I'd lost in first rounds, it's probably early on in my career, but I don't think I've lost early in the rounds, you know, over the last four, five, six years anyway. So what, if I have, then I, <laughs> uh, gladly, I don't know. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. It's gone, exactly, yeah. I mean, well, nowadays, you enter this tournament as one of the favourites. Two of the other favourites, Michael Van Gogh and Luke Littler, drawn each other in the opening round. When you see that, does that perk you up a little bit, knowing that one of the, the big boys have got to go out early? No, I mean, it's fantastic. It's 32 brilliant players in this tournament. It doesn't matter who you play, Luke, Michael, Luke Humphries, Nathan Asmell and Michael Smith, you know, they're all brilliant players, so it doesn't matter who plays who. One one good player is coming through that game and you have to be the best to win, so I, I don't look at the draw. And we've seen you reach a final on the Euro Tour in New York as well, and you picked up a title in Copenhagen. Is the game at the moment at the level to, to win the World Match Play? Yeah, I think my, my, my game is there. Belief, I need to build on that, but... You know, uh, every game I win, my confidence comes. So, yeah, if I keep building and building, I believe I can win. But sometimes there's those little doubts and I just need to come over. Thank you. How did you get to the final here a few years ago? How did the of and really sort of replicate that form and actually better that form that year? Well, I need to better it because I lost in the final. But, you know, it's... Um, a lot of ranking points to defend so I, I didn't want to go out early I wanted to you know make, not make a statement but just defend some points you know I, I always say first round's tough for me and tough for everyone got through that one you know I, I'm in danger now because I just feel like the first round's harder than the final for me I don't know why but I just want to get my ranking points under my belt get into the tournament so yeah I'm, I think I'm in danger now there's always been a few chances of three Lions if it was up losing the way tomorrow as a Welshman, is it going to get quite tired by the end of the week? I was actually going to walk out to a Spanish song tonight, but I thought, that better not. <laughs> I might walk out to an English song if they win, so I'm actually supporting them as well. Uh, my missus in the house can't believe that I'm shouting from, but, you know, I'm, I'm British and I like to see England win. I haven't before, but, yeah, fingers crossed they win tomorrow. Many congratulations, 
to be honest, I I don't think I've had extra preparation. I probably had more rest than anything. I know I played in one uh, one exhibition since the World Cup, or maybe two. I've done a couple of pro tours, which which were good for me. You know, up in Milton Keynes, they're probably my priority and key to to get me back to form. So yeah, my preparation probably would have been the same anyway, but it was just a, a difficult decision for me, but probably the right one. What's the next couple of days look like for you guys? Are you staying around? Are you going home to chill with the family until you play? No, no, I'm going on all day tomorrow and hope, hope England win. <laughs> so me and John are going to have a couple of beers, watch England and stay till Tuesday and just chill out.